Hey, this is Chris, Keeping It Real Facts over here. How you doing this morning? So the case numbers are up. And this, this past week, up quite significantly. We had our first, was it 1,500? Yeah, 1,500. Reported, I understand we always do 14-day rolling average, but still, uh, the trend has clearly been up. Week to week, the trend is up. And so, don't know what the exact figure is because I haven't done a chart in a while, but... Uh, <clears throat> so what's causing all this? What, what's, why is this happening now? And, and the answer is, I don't know. Well, so thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know, though. Uh, my feeling is, and I have nothing to substantiate it, but my feeling is that when the case numbers dropped to 300 a day on, on a 14-day rolling average, I think everybody just pretty much thought it was over. And I kind of did. I thought, well, okay, you know, we're just going to, I thought we'd get down to about 100 cases a day and it would probably stay there just about forever. That's, that's what I truly, and I still think eventually that's what's going to happen. But um, I think people thought it was over and they just, just, you know, they didn't, they haven't learned anything over the past year and a half uh, because they're still doing dumb things like getting together in large crowds in unventilated areas. They're not practicing social distancing. Uh, of course, I do not believe masks have a thing to do with it because if, if the mask really had something to do with it, this trend upward would have started about the first week of June and it didn't start until the second week of July. So we can, we can rule out that variable right now. And so that's like the first scientific, the first observational evidence that I have seen that really says masks don't matter. I think all the other things matter a great deal more. I think still that you need to keep social distancing. Um, unless it's somebody you know. But I think everybody just thought, well, hey, it's all over. We're just going to go back to the way it was pre-pandemic. I mean, that's what people do. You know, a year and a half really is not enough to set a new, to set a new pattern for social interaction and, you know, things of that nature. You know, we we're naturally going to go back to, you know, like I'm 58 years old. Uh, I'm going back, my tendency is to go back to the way it was when I was 56 and a half before this thing started. I mean, as a, right, as a percentage of my life, this pandemic is nothing in, in terms of time. So, and I think most people feel that way. And I also think there's a lot of people out there who realize that the death rate is so incredibly low from this disease that they really just don't are not concerned. I think that's not, well, and that that also forks into the whole vaccination issue, where you know people aren't getting vaccinated because you know anybody that looks at the stats knows that your chances of dying of this are incredibly low. Um, I was looking at the death figures for the whole pandemic for North Carolina, and it is below. I'm certain it's below 700. For, for ages 49 and under. Less than 700 in a year and a half. What's, what's to be concerned about? So the only thing, the only question that remains is, uh, are these just cases where people are gonna get sick and they're gonna, and they're not gonna die? Or, you know, is this new variant? Of course, the new variant has something to do with it too, right? Because there's, there's studies that indicate that this virus, this new variant, is about 650 to 75 percent more transmissible. I don't really know what that means. I guess it means, if I had to guess, I would mean, it would mean you need to get less of the virus. You need less exposure to the virus in order to catch the disease. Maybe it's it's become a little bit more efficient at um, getting into your lungs and reproducing more quickly. I don't know. That's just my. That's you know. I think I'm just trying to be logical. One thing I do know for sure, though, we need to let this run. We just do. I mean, everybody who's gotten vaccinated, wanted to get vaccinated, has gotten vaccinated. And pretty much the rest who haven't gotten vaccinated are still showing a high degree of resistance to being vaccinated. And, uh, you know, they're the, the unvaccinated, and that includes me, uh, will, will bear the cost of, of whatever happens. And so if you're vaccinated, don't worry about it. And quit acting like you can still get sick. Everybody says the, new, the, the, the vaccines are still 
about as effective with the Delta variant as they were before with the old variant. And, <clears throat> you know, we don't need to go around vaccine shaming everyone. We just need to go ahead and live our lives and just, you know, and we need to let, but we need to let this virus just go ahead and run through the population. I mean, all the older people, 86% of the older people have gotten vaccinated and so uh, and keep in mind that it took it took 17 months for this variant to first become a variant and I don't know exactly when that was but I suspect it was around last December until we get until we and, and, and now we've gotten to today where it is the dominant variant look how long that took with nobody vaccinated. Well, nobody was vaccinated in December, but you know what I mean? It, it's like there was a much larger pool of people back in December than there are now that could get that can get sick. And so one of the things that mutation depends on is spreading as wide as a, a virus is spreading as widely as possible having the maximum number of hosts have the greatest chance of, of mutating something more successful. And so there's much less room for success for a new variant to come along now. And even if it does, it's probably going to take another six, eight, ten months. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll see one, but it isn't going to come fast. And so one thing that the vaccinate, vaccine program has done is slowed that, slowed that timeline that, uh, or, or excuse me, expanded the timeline that it takes for a new mutation to appear. So I say we let it run and let the unvaccinated bear their own burden. If they die, they die. If we die, we die. I just, you know, uh, you know, it's been 17 months. I'm going to keep doing all the things, all the things that I've been doing to stay safe. Uh, thus far, they have been successful, and I see no reason why they shouldn't continue to be. And that's just the way I'm looking at it. And I think most people uh, who aren't vaccinated look at it the very same way. Okay, I rambled on long enough. If you have any questions or comments, leave it, leave it them in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do, and we'll see you on your next, on your next Backfield video.